in the manner that uh, these cases have been slapped within 48 hours it, it re- does reveal a pattern and uh, shows that there must be a motive behind uh, this journalists in jammu and kashmir have been walking the razor's edge in the last 30 years many journalists have been killed many more have been physically intimidated harassed and uh, media has been arm twisted in various ways by choking their financial uh, flows uh, revenue and 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 harassing them in different uh, ways and creating an atmosphere of fear which has been more and more absolute after august uh, 5th 2019 uh, this particular series of um, uh, you know uh, criminalizing uh, uh, journalists in by slapping charges against them i i think this is uh, a part of that same um, uh, pattern and uh, it, it is aimed at creating fear to completely silence the voices of uh, the media persons uh, they, these are the media and and to ensure that information does not come out in the public domain the only information that comes out is the government narrative the state narrative and the rest should not be brought in the public domain that must be the motive because already they've silenced the local media the local publications and um, now by uh, trying to intimidate uh, journalists kashmiri journalists who are contributing for publications um, and and, uh, different electronic media outside the state and in different parts of the country. I think this is the motive that to completely disappear any kind of information that is uh, available uh, globally on Kashmir. The other thing I like to add, it may not be a motive, but... um, the implication of uh, registering a case particularly in the case of masarat zahra she's the only woman who's a woman journalist who uh, has faced this kind of harassment in the last uh, 30 years and it is it its fallout would be that many women many young women who have come, come into the profession in the last one decade and are doing a great job they would be pushed to the corners and they might think of opting out of the profession which is what happened in 1989-90 when militancy started and an atmosphere of uh, fear was created at that point in time for 15 years no women journalists came uh, no women journalists could be seen in the field all the three journalists who have been booked under different cases in the last 48 hours are extremely professional um, I don't know Masarat Zahra personally, but I've been following her work. She's extremely young and uh, has amazing body of work to her credit. Um, she's been bringing out, uh, you know, images of uh, very marginalized people, people who are powerless, people who are suffering uh, and going through different tragedies. She's brought in different facets of um, the, the conflict uh, through her uh, photographs. And um, as far as uh, Ashik Pirzada and Gohar Gilani are concerned, I know them personally for a long time. I know them professionally. I know them personally as well. And uh, they are extremely professional. Uh, they, their car- career is unblemished. And they've been bringing out um, uh, very uh, path-breaking stories, both of them. Gohar Gilani is also a commentator. And he has been advocating peace. Uh, and non-violence uh, through his write-ups, through his social media posts. So it's extremely shocking that uh, these kind of pros- preposterous charges have been slapped against uh, a person like Gohar Gilani for uh, sharing, um, uh, you know, uh, his his his, uh, so- his his ideas, his and his comments on uh, on the need for peace, on the need for dialogue, on the need for non-violence and uh, none of these journalists have been advocating violence. So these charges are uncalled for and need to be dropped.